My name is Ricardo Adams. I'm a parent of a child in Soda and a preschool child in number two school, and I have an up-and-coming child. Um, this is about the Community Education Task Force. The Community Education Task Force was formed as follow-up to a parent and community speak-out held at the Rochester Museum and Science Center on January 9th. It became clear to us that a large group of those who attended the September 9th speak-out opposed mayoral control of the Rochester City School District. Thus, we decided to help facilitate ongoing dialogue, organize resistance, leadership, and directive support regarding parents, activists, and community members' desire to defeat Mayor Robert Duffy's proposed takeover of the Rochester City School District. Such an arrangement would deprive the citizens of Rochester of our constitutional rights to vote for our representatives of choice to oversee the education of our children. This action would seek to repeal our suffrage rights for which our ancestors fought, and that's not okay. Robert Duffy, to our knowledge, has no adequate educational background or expertise knowledge that places him as a prime candidate for such an undertaking. And so we oppose giving him or anyone four years to experiment with students and children who already are in a vulnerable state. You can't treat children like lab rats. Other proven, more viable options need to be explored first. We oppose place, placing concentrated power in the hands of one individual, in a community where we value collective wisdom and work. His proposed model deprives us of that. The collective model offers more opportunity for access, accountability, and checks and balances. The current support garnered from mayoral control of schools seems to be based primarily on individual personality and passion, which is great, but it's problematic. It's a problematic precedent that is set for future mayors that may succeed him, that may differ in personality and lack the same compassion for children or desire for such control. We need to tool our current system and school district with systemic mechanisms that will produce stellar educational outcomes. We offer a vote of no confidence in his ability to produce a viable plan for academic improvement within the Rochester City School District. We believe that he's underqualified for such a position, and we need him to take control of the lingering city issues for which we voted him in office for, like addressing unemployment rates, poverty, crime, police abuses of power, incarceration inequities, and public works contract inequities that are contributing to our overall poor educational outcomes. There are grave discrepancies in the evidence claimed by the mayor that mayoral control has been successful in other cities. There are credible studies that show that, in fact, there has been little to no improvement in most cities tried in comparison to those run by school boards. The racial achievement gap, in fact, is said to have increased and grown under mayoral control, according to recent studies. In a district with 85% children of color, we can't afford that risk, despite politicians like Mayor Duffy and others who think that we can. And the fact that the mayor began working on this proposed, these proposed changes of governance with local and state politicians to take control of our city schools without preemptively having substantive and timely open dialogue with parents, students, community members first shows poor judgment and disregard for those of us most directly impacted by the crafting of such legislation to strip us of our rights to the democratic process. And we are not okay with that.